Uh, Peter McGlashan, Director of Sport and Wellbeing for the Glenn Family Foundation. Well, thanks for being with us, Peter. Uh, how did you find today? It was great. It was. Uh, I actually wasn't invited to the event tonight. I uh, got a bit of a, a helping hand in through the back door and um, through Paul McCarter. We're doing some work with him down in Ōtaro, uh, getting bikes into schools down there. So it was just great to see people sitting around the table who wouldn't necessarily regard each other as allies. Um, I think that's one of the issues with community development across the board. You're often working with fields that you're not necessarily comfortable with, so it's exciting. And could you tell me a little bit more about what you're working on? So the Glen Family Foundation has uh, got 12 different projects in Ōtaro. Uh, Owen Glen lived in Ōtaro for a small time uh, as a young married man, so uh, we've been charged with going down there and making a difference, and my role as uh, Sport and Wellbeing is looking after four projects. Uh, a cycleway in Ngāti Ōtaro Park, which is a public cycleway surrounded by about five different primary schools. It's also about getting the warriors more involved in the schooling process, using them as an incentive to keep kids learning, keep kids engaged in the classroom. Uh, it's also with Hockey New Zealand, getting hockey into Ōtara schools, which is a sport that uh, Ōtara isn't necessarily that familiar with. And the other one is a program called Coaching Boys Into Men, which is about recognising that sports coaches are not just people who teach how to kick and pass a ball, they can also be people that influence the morals and the values of the, the kids that they coach along the way. Sounds really exciting. And what's the, what's the timeline on those projects? Some of them are immediate. Some of them, like the cycleway, will hopefully be built in the next three to four months. Um, other, other ones are ongoing, you know, four to five year projects. Um, we really want to make a, a long term change in uh, some of the negative indicators that, that happen in all society. Um, and we really want to set Ōtara up as a beacon for the rest of New Zealand as to how things can be done if you collaborate, if you work with council, if you work with private funders, if you work with community groups that are keen to make a difference. So um, the things that we put in place now will hopefully foster and, and will become sustainable and will become an example to the rest of New Zealand. Excellent. Well, real pleasure having you here today, Peter. Thanks so much.